A mess, mate. I know. It's mad, he's like the one that got me like the f shit times, you know, like when we were in Casper and stuff. Mm, it was him. Yeah. I'm literally just a normal guy from West London and didn't think I'd come in here. Like, the friendship set for life. For life. Love you, bro. Love you, bro. Sad to see Will and Tom cry. The three musketeers have separated. I think maybe Casey on his way home was crying as well because I think. As I said yesterday, Tom and Casey became very close friends, so I understand why Casey was really crying. And um, Will also joined that the, those two to become a trio, so it's understandable why he was crying. Shaq did say he was going to miss Casey, because I think Shaq is one of the people that sort of surrounded Casey after the Lana incident and sort of made sure that he was okay. And because of that, this is how they became friends. Anyway, hey there, it's Valerie. I'm so sorry for the late review. Life has been lifing. But anyway, in this episode, I'll be reviewing Love Island, Season 9, Episode 52. Um, if you're new to my channel, please leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for when I upload new videos. Um, so the episode starts with Tom. He's still very upset that um, Casey has gone. You could tell when Casey was leaving, he was in the background. He was standing back behind everybody else and just wiping tears away. And he did say that he didn't expect to make friends and suddenly he's made a very, very close friend in Casey and he sees him more like his brother and he's going to miss him, even though the show is about to come to an end. Um, Will in the other corner is being comforted by Jesse because he's going to miss Casey as well because he had become very close with Casey. Um, Shaq was talking to Tanya and he was telling Tanya how he's going to miss Casey. And I think Shaq became friends with Casey after the Lana incident, whereby uh, Casey was broken because of how Lana dealt with the whole thing. And so I think from there, that's where their friendship grew. But it's, I don't think he was as close maybe as Tom was to Casey, but he was still close friends with, with Casey because at one point Ron was upset with Shaq because he felt Shaq had taken Casey's Side and sort of left run on his own. Anyway, um, the Islanders, before they go to bed, you have Will and Shaq talking. And I really like Will and Shaq's friendship because it brings out uh, Will's serious side and he's more sort of, um, well, he's more mature side for for lack of a better word. And so it's nice to see when he's with when he's with other boys, like the three musketeers, he's messing about and he's being goofy and stuff. But when he is with Shaq, they actually have honest and very serious conversations. And Shaq was saying, you know, I didn't expect to become friends with some of the people that I've become friends with because I'm just a boy from West London and it's interesting how spending time with everyone I've managed to make some very good lifelong friends and I think one of those people is well because they come from two totally different worlds um anyway everybody goes to sleep and I'm surprised by Ron and Lana that they've become more affectionate um you know they're cuddling in bed they're spooning in bed and I don't know whether they're doing that because the connection is growing stronger or whether they're doing it because they of the public polls and it seems to be more to do with the public polls because since those polls came out this is when they've started becoming all lovey-dovey anyway in the morning <laughs> the they wake up to the babies the babies are here and oh my god sammy and lana were terrible the babies they were they they couldn't hack it they were terrible they, they, lana was saying the baby is constantly crying she had to go and pass over the baby to to run because she said it was too much for her Everybody else, um, Will and Jesse, you know, put their little child in an overall and we're talking about the farm and the child was called Rufus and it's like, oh my God, what the hell? That's a dog's name. But anyway, um, and it was surprising how well some of the guys did. I Kai, as a teacher, I would expect him to be great with children. Not sure about little children, but he seems to do amazing. And Sanam was very compassionate and empathetic. Obviously, she's a social worker. Um, so she's used to coming across little children, I think. Um, Tanya and Shaq, they did their best. They did their best with, with their baby, Sanya. <laughs> uh, and... Kai named his baby after one of the football players. And it's like, seriously, why? Why? Um, and it was nice to see how everyone was coping with the babies. It was also interesting how everybody dressed their babies and was struggling. I don't think any of the islanders are ready to become parents. 
I don't think either one of them, any of the ladies or any of the guys is ready to become a parent because they tried their best, but hmm, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't impressive. Anyway, Ron then received a text message to say the guys would have, you know, a guy's day out and they were so excited and the girls were, were given the babies. And then suddenly um, they received a text message that, no, actually the guys would be taking the babies with them. And it's like, why? Why do you want to punish them? What have they done? Um, because the girls was, was skiving. They weren't really doing anything with the babies. The guys were spending most of the time with the babies in the villa anyway. So the guys got to take the babies to a park. They did very well. They did very well. The girls didn't do anything when they stayed behind. They just had to spa day and relax and did nothing. Um, and then uh, Tanya had a conversation with Lana. I don't think it there was anything bad about it. I understand where Tanya was coming from when she said that, you know, um, Shaq and I have been together since the start, and yet we're in the bottom. I don't understand why we're in the bottom when there are newer couples that are not in the bottom. So she didn't understand why Sanam and Kai were not in the bottom since they were a newer, newer couple. And it's just Kai and Sanam have great chemistry. And not only that, they've had great edits. So I don't think they're going to be in the bottom because the viewers really like them. Um, and so... I don't think she meant any offense to Sanam. I don't think, I know some people are saying, oh, how dare she try to judge Sanam. I don't think she meant any offense. I think she was just sort of asking that, how is it? We have been together from the start and yet people seem to like these two better. And is Casa Amor was their downfall, Tanya and Shaq. Casa Amor was their downfall. And because of Casa Amor and the fact that Shaq was shown to be interfering in other people's conversations, this is why they're in the situation that they're in. And I wish the viewers would forgive them and vote for them because you, somebody else deserves to win. I think a couple, uh, you know, I think they deserve to win because I think they've really been through, you know, a lot. They've been through the ups and the downs and they've still managed to stay together. So I like that. Um, and then um, the guys go out for the day. They spend the day in the park. And then they come back to the villa and everybody gets dressed. And, you know, they come back. The guys, the guys then come back from the park and they sort of tell the girls what they did all day. Uh, and the girls, you know, explain what they were doing, which was really nothing. There's really nothing to say about this episode. And then later they play games with the babies. Um, and somehow Sammy and Tom were the best parents. I don't get it. I think even Ron did way better than Tom. But anyway, I don't know what they were judging them on, whether they were judging on the length of time that the child was crying or I was wet or whatever. I don't know. Uh, and everybody goes to bed. It was a really short and cute episode. I really enjoyed it. Um, I think the next episode is going to be about the dates, and I don't know where people are going to go and what sort of dates they're going to have. But, you know, I I don't know. Do I? <laughs> Looking at the five couples that are left, if I were to be honest, I think if Shaq and Tanya don't win, I think Kai and Sanam should win. That's just my opinion. Um, what do I think about Wilden and Jesse? As I've said, I've always expressed my opinion about Wilden and Jesse, the fact that I'm not 100% convinced that Jesse is really in love with Will, despite her saying that. Ron and Lana have said that I feel they're playing games, so I really don't think they deserve to win. And Tom and Sammy. Tom has enjoyed himself in the villa. Tom has enjoyed himself in the villa. He's He's been coupled up with a lot of girls. He's made out with a lot of girls. I think he deserves to be number three. But I think Kai and Sanam and Shaq and Tanya deserve to be number one and two. That's just my opinion. Anyway, I digress. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, everyone.